Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wemimo and I'm also known as Tatmamo5 and I'm also known as TMO5 Candle Co. So on today's um, video, I've just come here to say, you know what, there's inflation going on everywhere in the UK now. Like the inflation is so bad that <laughs> As a family of seven today, I'm going to be sharing with you what's actually happening here in the UK in regards to inflation and how my household as a family of seven have been coping as well as other things you can do in order to cope as well wherever you might be in the United Kingdom. So as of today, the 1st of September 2022, the inflation rate in the UK is 10.10%. That's a massive jump from what we are used to getting. I remember years ago, I think I started driving about five or six and a half years ago, and I remember when I used to be able to fill up my fill up my tank with 40 pounds of fuel. Like 40 pounds of fuel will fill up the entire um petrol tank of my seven seater Vauxhall but right now as i'm speaking to you and which most of you will have seen from my previous videos when i'm filling up my car to get a full tank i'm spending nothing less than 80 pounds yes so as of june july i was spending about 78 pounds maybe every or every couple of weeks or let's say every four weeks for me because i don't travel much in the car but yes in the past three four months now i've been spending 80 pounds nothing less than 80 pounds to fill up my car full tank as compared to what it was like four five years ago so that is to say that inflation rate is rising and there's a lot of things going on as well like there's lots of strike going on currently in uk the bin collectors have been on strike for the past three days it's just crazy like the the cost of living is actually increasing but the income is not being really like the income is not actually enough to stand by or to avenge the cost of living the cost of living that is rising in the uk the bin collectors have been on strike for the past three to four days i think they came back today they're going to clear the bin and then they're going to be going on strike for another few days the royal mail which is the postal service in the uk they've been on strike as well which means that at times we get our letters early as nine o'clock in the morning now we don't even get our letters delivered until about maybe 2 p.m 3 p.m and at times you might not even get your letter but maybe one day in the week you might just get everything delivered which means that you are missing appointment you are missing payment you are missing things that you are waiting notification from via letters and right now as i'm speaking to you the teachers in scotland are also planning to go on a three or four day strike which i believe is sometime next week so they are planning to close the school for three days all of this is because of the lack of pay rise yes the government are refusing to increase the pay rise whereby cost of living is like is increasing and increasing and increasing and increasing i am not a mathematician i am not i am not a scientist i am not anything and i don't think i've got anything to say here on how to beat the inflation no but i'm going to be sharing with you what my household spend in terms of expenditure and other ways by which you can actually cope and maybe manage as well but one thing i must say is this if you are a family in the uk a family whereby there's husband there's wife or there's partner two partners both of you have to be working at this rate whereby the inflation rate is at the rate it is right now i mean it's the highest as compared to what it was in june or what it was in july but as of september the first today is at 10.10 percent .10%. so if you are a couple in the uk wherever you may be in the uk i'm sure you agree with me that both of you have to be working like both of you have to be out there bringing in income because at the end of the day whatever both of your incomes are if you've got children it's <laughs> trust me the income both of you are bringing in it's not even enough so without wasting much of your time i've got a list of my expenditure here as a family of seven and afterwards i'm going to be sharing with you other things i do on the side so you all know i've got five kids from ages 18 to um 10 so three girls and two boys and you all know <laughs> the older children become the more expensive they are and then the more food they eat left for me i don't eat that much and my partner my husband doesn't eat as much as well but when it comes to the children you will agree that children eat a lot so without wasting much of your let's dive in so in terms of um rent rent every month is 520 pounds council tax is 160 pounds so you pay council tax will be dependent on if you are working part-time or if you're just by your own if you're just if you're a single person you definitely get the 25% discount but if both of you are working trust me you'll be paying the full 
rate of council tax as for my rent there my rent like i mentioned is 520 pounds and it's for a three bedroom in a multi-story flat and it's one of the popular like it's got easy access to town for us so we are i mean that rent is all right and then in terms of insurance for home appliances like our tv our um fridge our um, tumble dryer everything insurance for that is 15 pounds every month and in terms of groceries so like bread milk i go to costco and stuff like like that it's three pounds a month for that and even more sometimes i'll say three three hundred pounds let's put it at that and then when we go to african shop i go to african shop once every month and when i go to african shop once every month i spend 350 pounds for that and then our uh, broadband which is how we get our wi-fi and internet every month that cost us 34 pounds 45 pence and in terms of mobile phone like like i told you we are a family of seven <laughs> we all have mobile phones and our monthly bill for seven of us every month is 230 pounds yes 230 pounds for all mobile phone bills for seven of us in this household if i say that's high well there's no way to beat it and then road tax so road tax for the car is um 220 pounds every year but i've broken it down divided by 12 that will amount to 18 pounds every month and then in terms of fuel petrol every month is spent we spend 85 pounds and then mot so this is for you to um check if your car is worthy to be on the road before you actually renew your um road tax so this is done once every month once every year and yearly it costs 60 pounds so approximately divided by 12 that's five pounds monthly electricity in my my accommodation here for the family of seven is 160 pounds every month we don't use gas we just use electricity and in terms of clothing obviously i don't buy clothes all the time for myself or my husband doesn't buy clothes all the time but for children you always if you're not buying socks today you're buying on the way to tomorrow or you're buying swimming trunk tomorrow so i've kind of like rounded that up to 150 pounds a month for either five of them and then car insurance i pay my car insurance and it costs 75 pounds 38 pence every month and then car servicing i service my car at least twice a year and each time i service it it costs 175 pounds every six months so if i divide 350 pounds by 12 so that will give me approximately 30 pounds every month for servicing of the car and then when it comes to Netflix, we pay £15.99 for Netflix and then we pay £4.99 for Amazon Prime. So when you order from Amazon, you are, you are rest assured that it will be delivered that same day or the following day. And then online catalog, I've only got on one online catalog, which is Studio. And then I pay £40 every month for this. I barely shop there anyways. So these are all the expenditures we have in this household. And in total... Of that this is excluding me wanting to go to a one bed party and I want to make my hair or I want to do my brows or I want to buy shoes this is excluding all of that it totals down to two thousand one hundred and ninety three pounds eighty one pence so that's how much we spend as a family of seven in the UK precisely in Glasgow two thousand one hundred and ninety three pounds eighty one pence and these are just expenditures and i've not even included birthdays if you have to go out with the kids on their birthdays if i have to buy gifts or present for the kids on their birthdays this is excluding all of that and this is also excluding one thing to send money home to families which you all know like if you've got loved ones especially your parents you want to at least send for me i do that every month so i think it's a personal thing so i'm not going to share how much i send home to my parents or to my loved ones every month but i do that so that's what a family of seven like mine in glasgow are currently living with and in terms of coping mechanism i'm sure you've all seen me when i will go to like you know um costco looking for <laughs> bargains i will go to tesco i shop in almost all of the stores and i just go around to figure out which is the cheapest place for me to shop at or even it might not be maybe you buying something in the shop that will make it even cheaper they might even be sending gift cards like shopping vouchers that you might get 10 percent or if you, if you top up 50 pounds on your card so that way i make use of all of those offers like that and other ways i have been coping as a family of seven which you should all know about is side hustles i've shared several side hustles on my channel here you know i it's, it's nothing to hide about it's something i'm happy to do because from 
having a, fi a large family like mine, you can't you can't just depend on just one job that you have. As you all know, I'm a newly qualified nurse. I've not even started my job yet, and how much do they pay nurses as a salary? How much? I'm going to leave uh, an approximate or an estimate of how much a uh, nurse earns every month. I'm going to put it here. So I don't even know. Maybe that I'm, I'm going to be even be, be um, handing up to that. But I've got other side also that I do, which I've shared on my channel, and I'm going to share it here again. So I sell scented candles. I sell wax melt. I sell car diffusers, home diffusers, and I'm currently about to launch body butters and bath bombs. So these are kind of things that I've been doing on the side in order to make sure that the income that is coming for me. It's, if, if it's not even enough, but it's okay to cover my expenditures and out of this income that is coming in, uh, we are, I'm still expected to save as well for rainy days. And you all know how I hammer on about saving, like saving, saving, saving. So it's, it's, it's so unreal that inflation is high and like I said, if you're in this country and you're not working, like I don't, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say to you so in terms of my coping mechanism i'm going to leave the link to videos where i've spoke about the side hustles that i do how i can like batch cook how i go to other stores and like you no know, get offers and make sure i'm saving on my shopping so i just thought i'll come in here that inflation is battling with the even the poorest in this country inflation is battling with all of us and i just felt it's high time that i just come here and say you know what this is my own household income and I mean, obviously, I've not shared my household income, but this is my expenditures. And I know some of you will say, but you are getting benefit. Duh, benefit. Can you tell me who in this country is, gonna, is getting benefit of over £2,000 of expenditure that I've just mentioned here? The thing about benefit is this. I'm not going to rant on about what benefit is all about. I'm going to leave a link up here or in the description box there so you can go and read get educated more on how the benefit system works in the uk and one thing is this the higher your income the less you get in terms of benefit and the older your children becomes the less you get in terms of benefit so i hope this video has kind of like opened your inner mind on the importance of why you should get inside also in this inflation if you can get 20 side also it's not in fact it's no big deal as well it's accepted and let me know how you are coping in this inflation um that is going on our um currently going on in the uk right now how are you coping share with us i mean i'm i don't know it all i've only just shared mine and if you think that with all of my expenditure that i've mentioned earlier on if you think there's an area that i could cut down and if you've got suggestions of how i could maybe get better deal on mobile phones or better deal on most of the things i've mentioned there feel free to pop them in the comment section and this comes to the end of my video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you have watched up until now what are you waiting for what are you waiting for so don't forget to like this video drop a comment in the comment section and share your opinion subscribe if you're here to subscribe and turn on that post notification to remind you of any time i drop another video and don't forget to share this video because there might be some people who have you know the sense for how to get better bargains or how to beat this inflation and i hope to catch up with you in my next video bye